<laughs> Nevertheless, it's just like seeing me. Mm. Can I stand up and see me? This is my height. Mm. I will never get an American height. So do you think a pastor or whatever, a reverend or father is going to come to pray for me to get uh, that sort of height? No. Who I am is who I am, and I will never change. So whoever is doing the therapist and all, and all that kind of stuff, I just say, I'm sorry, or I say sorry to them, because who we are will never be changed. <laughs> we are God's creatures, that's oh, they it. Need they need therapy. Definitely, they need therapy. <laughs> With us, the one and only, the one and only, he's going to tell us about his story and uh, his life here in the UK. And well, we're going to learn more from him. He suggested this drink, he says it could be a vaccine <laughs> or something. It's the sure. vaccine at the same time, it's the medication. Well, <laughs> well, that's the beginning of what he has to say to us. Well, George, now tell us how is life. Uh, to be honest with you, life is good when you're out and proud. Life is good when you're not in the closet. Life is good when you're feeling yourself. Life is good when you can do whatever you want as a human being. Life is good when you're not in the fear of any sort of persecution. Life is good when you can interact with anyone in the community, regardless of their sexuality, regardless of where they come from. So out and proud, and more especially, to be honest with you, just like you said, how is life? I thank the UK government for having allowed us because as an LGBT person, out and proud, I couldn't be here in the park full of other people. You know, otherwise, if I was in other countries where the persecutors are like this, yeah, I who is watching me, who is watching me, I would have been watching over my shoulders. But as you can see, with a drink in my hand, I'm out and proud. That's, That's how you. life is with me. And you're able to express yourself as well. A hundred percent. I can go to, to Soho, it's just down the road. We got G-A-Y, apparently it's closed anyway because of the corona. But if it wasn't because of corona, we'd have been in the club right now. Sometimes I go to uh, Voxo Taverns, I enjoy my life there. We've got lots of our places that where we can go and enjoy life, you know. So that's what life is here in the UK where we are allowed to be human beings just like any other person. Oh, that's so lovely. That's very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> very enthusiastic. Yeah. Um, well, tell us more. Tell us more. So, what uh, what do you do in, on your day to day, on your day, on a daily basis, in your day to day life? Appar you apparently, I'm trying to to go to college, yes. study. Yes. Uh, I, I love to do I, I love to do to do carpentry, more especially uh, anything to do with the construction. I'm so attracted to it. I'm always fascinated to see things being built from ground up to the top. So that's my fascination, I mean, that's my sort of desire. Fingers crossed when I pass my college and all that, God knows I'll be having a construction company. Oh, wow. Well, that's dreaming big. Yep. That's dreaming big. The sky is the limit. Oh, well, yes. You can tell us more about that. The sky um, is the limit because at the end of the day, we human beings, we're the ones to, who limit ourselves. Mm. But if you keep your dreams going high and high, you can achieve everything you dream about mm. in your life. That's all I can say. That's yep. Definitely. Yes, well, you, um, guys, you've heard, whoever is watching, whoever is logged in today, you've heard what Judge has said. You just have to keep dreaming big because you can dream and then achieve as well. Dreams come true. Yes, Trust me. I pray that I get like a construction company, get bigger, and then start employing people, my fellow LGBT people, wherever they are. Call them because I know that we've got lots of talented people who can do bricklaying, who can paint, who can do carpentry just like I. You know, I would like to bring all them together, get together, and then, you know, the sky is the limit. We are out and proud, and we are very happy of the British government because they never ever neglected us. They gave us a chance to be who we are, they gave us a chance to live our life the way we're supposed to be. Besides, we've got lots of our colleagues, our our people or our fellow LGBT community who live in Africa and other parts of the world are being persecuted over being what they are. Being a gay man, being a lesbian, being an LGBTQ person doesn't mean that you have to be persecuted. 
you are born like, just like them. You've got the same blood just like them, you know. But just because you're born differently, it doesn't mean you have to be persecuted. And I just pray, pray over all over the world, those people who are persecuting the LGBTI people to stop it. That's, I'm talking about Africa, Asia, and, and even in some countries in, uh, in Europe, I hear about Russia and some other few countries, they do persecute LGBT people, but they should stop it because we are as human as them and we help the community just as other people. You know, that's all I can yeah, say. We contribute the same. We contribute the same. We're all human beings. Well, George, um, have you heard about conversion therapy? Of course I had it several times. Oh, well, um, well uh, I understand like a few years back, hmm. well, it was, it was passed in the, well, here in the UK, hmm. but it has not been implemented, it's hmm. not been put in place, hmm. and other countries are still doing it. Right. What are your thoughts on conversion therapy? <laughs> My thought is, if God created a tree to be a tree, you can't change it to be a block. <laughs> so nevertheless, if somebody is telling me that, oh, no, 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 it's, it's, it, 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 I'm, it, who I am is who, am I, who I am. You're not going to change a cow into a dog, and you're not going to change a dog into a cat. So nevertheless, we are God creatures who we are born to be who we are. So nothing, nothing in, in this world that is going to change who we are as LGBT people. So I'm sorry for whoever is trying to do that therapy, therapy, because it ain't gonna work. This is a bottle and it will never change into a, a tree or grass or water. Nevertheless, it's just like seeing me. Mm. Can I stand up and you see me? This is my height. Mm. I will never get an American height. So do you think a pastor or whatever, a reverend or father is gonna come to pray for me to get uh, that sort of height? No. Who I am is who I am, and I will never change. So whoever is doing the therapist and all, and all that kind of stuff, I just say, I'm sorry, or I say sorry to them, because who we are will never be changed. <laughs> we are God's creatures, that's well, they it. Need therapy. They definitely, they need therapy. <laughs> yeah. In fact, they have to give me a chance to go and pray for them to change their mind from who they are to become like us. Actually, that could be more yeah, yeah, definitely. Because we are out and proud and we know how we feel in our bodies. We love it. I love myself. You love yourself. So who are you to come and say that, oh, you're going to uh, blah, 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 and then change it? Come on. God knows why he created us. When you hear about those people doing the, the conversion therapist, I personally, as a human being, being in a country where we know or where they always teach us or where they always bang the drums in our head that being a gay man or being a, les a lesbian is wrong, is bad. Being at school, being in such a country, I always try to pray for myself, me, myself and I. I could be in the room, cry out loud to God to change who I am, to change what I feel inside me. It failed. So who is this so-called, I'm sorry to say so, but who is this so-called pastor, reverend or doctor thinking that he's going to do that for me? Yet me, myself and I failed to do. And I had to accept who I am and who I am is what I'm living right now. So nevertheless, I can't see anyone who is going to change that. If I couldn't change it myself, no one else would. Well, yeah, in other words, they, they don't understand the struggles people go through before they come to accept themselves. Yep, 100%. So. At the end of the day, you can't tell me to be who I am naturally. Just like I said, I stood up and said to you, this is my height. So no one is going to come and pray for me to change my height. Or get shorter. Or get shorter, or even get taller, or even, you know, God knows what. He, God knows the reason why he created me to be who I am. So I'm a gay man and I always be a gay man. Sorry for the reverends and pastors who are trying to pray for us. You know? Sorry to mm. Don't drop that drink. Oh, sure. Have it right here. Well, George, well, we're receiving many uh, responses and messages from Africa, mm. from LGBTI people. Who are right. Like, well, they're like, oh, how can we, like, you know, 
how can we get safe? How can we be safe? How can we stay safe? Mm. How can we come maybe to where you guys are? Mm. And sometimes you actually don't know how to respond to that. Right. So what message would you send to people who are out there, especially people who are still in Africa, LGBTI members who are still in Africa? Well, on my point of view, or on my personal point of view, well, all I could say, all my LGBTQ people who are still living in Africa, and all over the world where they are being persecuted, please, 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 I beg you, life is so precious, you've got to act accordingly. When you see, you study the environment and you see that you're not safe at all, please, please, we don't want to lose anyone's life. Keep yourselves safe. But if you get a chance, if you ever get a chance, I'm not going to tell you how I came here or I'm not going to explain to you how to come to England or to go to America or to go to Germany. But if ever God helps you and you fly out of wherever you are and you come to a country where you are allowed to be who you are, then of course you can be out and proud just like us. You can be happy, you can celebrate with your fellow LGBTI people, but apparently when you're in a country where you, you know you are being persecuted, please, please, keep your life safe. Because we don't want to lose any life. We need all of you. Wherever you are, we need you. Yes. So that's all, that's all I can say. Yes, that's really a good message. Well, to add that, uh, just like George has said, we just have to keep safe. Because while there is life, a lot can be achieved, a lot can be done. Hmm. We can live the life we want to live. Definitely. But we have to first make sure we are safe. Well, we've heard from George. Thank you. It was such a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure yeah, to you. see. It's a pleasure uh, to hear from you as well. Yes, I hope we can get to hear more whenever <laughs> we can. <laughs> Definitely. Anytime you need me, just call me. Okay. Then. Just right. call me. Right, I'm a free like a bird in the air. <laughs> thank you, all viewers. This Out and George proud. Intended. From Out and Proud, LGBTI, just in the UK. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. My name, has, my name is Mebo. And my name is George Katende from Uganda. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Out and Proud African LGBTI. If, you don't, if you've not subscribed yet, just click on that, uh, that image, that icon down below there. Subscribe, follow, like, and share, because we need more views. We need to create an awareness of what's happening and everything that's going on, and keep following someone. Thank you. Cheers! Cheers!